how much you plan, God will not follow your schedule. Someday we will have our prayer and even if it's not in this birthday, even if it's not in next year's birthday, in some birthday we will have our prayer. Good morning guys! So we have a special delivery here today in our new home. So Ben and I have been slowly trying to fill up this place and one of the first things on Ben's list was actually a big TV. So this is one of our first purchases and the first one that we have is this Skyward Eye Care TV. So just a little background story, Ben had really bad eyesight before while me it's slowly deteriorating. So as much as possible we're really investing in TVs that give eye care protection. So let's unbox this baby! Okay, so now that we've unboxed the Skyward TV, what's inside the box is a free wall mount, which is perfect because Ben and I are going to place this in one of the guest rooms and it's gonna be mounted on the wall. We also have a manual, this one, just like warranty stuff, the cables that you would need to connect the TV, and of course, the remote. So the perfect thing about this TV, it's actually compatible for Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and other apps that you would want to use every single day. So that's even with the affordable price, it's compatible to most of the apps that we use. And yeah, that's why this is such a steal. So we're going to set this up, open it, and see how this is an eye care TV. Okay, so let's turn it on. Now that we're in the home, you can see that there's apps already installed for you to use. There's an even an e-manual if you're lazy to read the manual. Then we can see in the dashboard the settings. That's where we can see the eye care function. This function is really perfect for Ben and I because it automatically adjusts the backlight of the screen so that it is not too bright depending on what we're watching. It goes hand in hand with this night mode feature too because this one adjusts the screen brightness depending on how dark the room is. A perfect excuse to continue my late night binge watching. Now we're testing if this TV is really flicker free. I don't want to sound too technical here but this happens because Skyward is equipped with HDR10 to help improve the contrast of dynamic pictures. A cute but thoughtful detail is the antibacterial remote. Remotes are one of the dirtiest items in the house and it's nice that Skyward's remote is equipped to inactivate bacteria. It's also nice because I can enjoy my favorite shows not only with a big screen but also with better sound quality because this TV is also powered by Dolby Digital. <laughs> Now is also the time to get your hand Skyward's new TV because they're celebrating their 5th 40 Global Television Festival. This means that with every purchase of any SUE TV or eye care TV from April 15 to June 30, you'll get a chance to win a trip to Disneyland. Check out their social media channels here on the screen for more details. Okay, so now that you know the amazing features of the TV, I'm going to show you where Ben and I plan to put it. So this is the guest room where I think my sister Vernice or Ben's mom will be staying every time they stay with us. And this is where we plan to put it. So it's 55 inches and it will fit amazingly in this TV. And I love that the box or the TV actually comes with its own wall mount so I don't have to buy a separate one. So this is where it's gonna be and that's it. Let's go, it's time to go home to my baby because it's Bordeaux's birthday. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Caleb, say hi. So 
is Caleb. This is Liam. This is Aurora. This is their dad, Erwin. Ang pakana ng three kids. And this is the mom. Lala, they're always asking when you're gonna dance again. Hello, what are you getting? Pineapple, watermelon. Good morning, guys! Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> so, it's a messy room today because we are going to be checking in for Bernice's wedding weekend, but we decided to check in a day early because it's my birthday tomorrow! My birthday! My birthday! My birthday! My birthday! <laughs> Babe, your wife is 30 years old now. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got to Marriott and right now we're just waiting for our room to be ready. So Ben and I are getting some coffee. It's been a really, really hot few days. That's why I think you guys have don't that's why you guys remember to hydrate. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm just waiting for Memai and Archie. And for the room to be ready as well, because I'm gonna get my makeup done later for the birthday reel I'm gonna take and the birthday dinner that I'm gonna throw with my family. So there, that's the agenda for today and that's it. <laughs> so after three hours, we finally have the room. I can't give you guys a room tour because we're super late now for the dinner. So I'll dress up first and then I'll show you guys my outfit. That's my dress. How is it so far, guys? <laughs> Hello, Tita! Hi! Hi, Tito! Hi. Oh. oh! They can't see each other na for... Oh, kiss her as the last single kiss. Oh, yeah. Last single kiss. <laughs> last single kiss. home it is exactly 11 31 and we are home from my birthday dinner thrown by my family and i really promised myself to give like a little pep talk for those who are turning 30 this year or those who are planners like me planners in a way who are type a who always always list down things that they want to happen in their lives like they have so much expectations they're always like Okay, when I turn like this, I have to achieve this. When I turn 30, I have to achieve this. So, you know guys, just a little fact. Like, ever since I was 21, 22, I always had a set of rules or achievements I have to attain when I turn 30. And one of the things that I wanted to attain was I wanted to get married, I wanted to have kids, and finish having kids by 30. And sometimes it's so mind-boggling for me. I think leading to this day, I wasn't having birthday blues, but leading to this day was a little bit an episode of anxiety for me because after going through so much fertility issues in the past almost one year and a half till leading to 30 was such a big thing for me because for such a long time, I really wanted to finish having kids by 30. And the thing that I learned through all of this was that no matter how much you plan, God will not follow your schedule. And He will follow the schedule that He planned for your life. And no matter how preachy I may sound, it's true. Looking now at the things that I have now that I'm 30 is overwhelming in itself. And... I really have to remind myself that 
sometimes it's not good to make too much plans for yourself and to really just go with the flow and you all you have to do is pray all you have to do is just be kind all you have to do is just be the best person you can be and to really follow the timeline that god has for you because when you do that all the things that hope to expect would even be better than what you pray for so there guys that's my little message that i wanted to end this vlog with for all those who are going through the same thing as i am i hope that with the vlogs that i am putting out i hope that i help in some way and we will go through the finish line together someday we will have our prayer and even if it's not in this birthday even if it's not in next year's birthday in some birthday we will have our prayer so to all those watching and to all those who are turning 30 this year happy happy birthday to us and that's it sing yourself happy birthday because we reached 30 years old bye guys good morning guys so starting the day, my birthday with a fitting with Patricia Santos. I'm back here in her atelier and we're gonna see the finished work. I'm so happy she made time for me because she's very pregnant and it's a Saturday. Supposedly this atelier is closed, but I'll be back. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you guys how her atelier looks like. So pretty. Look at that. She really designed this place so well. This is her office, super nice. There you go. Mr. Cameraman, <laughs> you're so into this ano, ah, camera. So Marriott sent this over for my birthday. Ta-da! Thanks, Marriott. What do we have here? Shall we eat some cake? I think it's time to eat my cake. Your cake. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> One of the many traditions in Vernice's wedding is that Alf has to give the wedding dress to Vernon. So we're waiting for Alf so he can officially hand it over and Vernice can wear it because Vernice can't see the dress anymore starting today. Hello, birthday girl! Hey! Hello, Where you go? The dress is... Ikaw, What's that? Okay. Okay, so you Rice cooper na box. Ah, uh, kaya pala. Okay, sige, sige. You have to get her reaction. Rice cooper na are you ready na Al? Are you nervous na? Are you ah, feeling anything? Ready na, ready na. Where you felt it ma? Oh, oh, oh. kagabi pa. Kagabi pa. pa. You gonna go pa to ano, no? to drink? Yeah. Kailangan ko, I cannot... Mga bachelor party pa na mamaya. Kailangan ko, minum di ako makakatulog. Oh. Hello! Did I, I miss Al for like a second? I know, that's why he was just here. I told him I wag muna. <laughs> Cause we might see each other. This is it. Girl, I can't wait to eat. <laughs> Morning pa lang kakain ako. Bahala na kayo guys. Girls room for the first time. Let's see, let's see. Wow! 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 I think this is for ano, tonight when I write my vows. Alam mo, ang cute. I found the perfect time to use my notebook. Wow! <laughs> the patin is a church. Wow, <laughs> look at the airport. Sponsored by Dior again. With your Dior jacket. 
I'm with your bag. <laughs> this is the essential sleep here. Wine, food. So I think this is the chairman suite, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Wow. This is so nice. So out na na. He's I know daw. He's not nervous. Me also. I think when I sink in, paano ba burn? Paano paano mag sink in? I think when all the families together and it, everyone's talking about your wedding. Because I feel, ko remember when we were all together in in the, the room. room. So maybe later tonight. Wow, it's huge. Oh, this is it! This is it! Wow, wow, that's crazy! This is so nice! Mm. This is your experience Girl, last day is a single girl! Nice! Wow, it's huge! Tomorrow, I have a name. Ko. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie's the Travis. Bernie's got the D, bruh! Wow, this is it, girl. This is it. Okay, so we're getting a sneak peek of what the venue will look like tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe Bernice is getting married tomorrow. Can you guys believe it? Can you guys believe it, Vince? No. <laughs> First sneak peek. Damn, son, that's a big ass ballroom. Wow. Are we gonna yeah. see each other tomorrow with how big this place is? We can really say, it's the first door. <laughs> wow. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie.